All right, let's go over the tools you need to remove the electronic rack and pinion on a Honda Civic is going to be. So right here you need a 10 socket, 15 ratchet, flathead screwdriver, 17 socket, 19 socket, a plier, some WD-40, some grease, a ball joint remover with a 24 socket, 19 millimeter socket, uh, Powered tools are optional. The battery drills, you don't have to, you can do it by hand. You need a uh, pry, two, I mean, you can have one pry bar. I rather use three. So, whichever one I need, better. So, you need a hammer, a little flashlight, and that will do the job. Also, you're going to need two jack stand and you can do one jack. I like to leave two jacks under and two jacks done. And a little card to roll under to make it easier. And that will make it happen. Welcome to my channel. I want to find it. All right, here we got a 2014 Honda Civic SI. So I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to explain to you guys exactly what you got to remove to be able to take this out. This is the electronic power steering rack and pinion, so electronic rack. So I'm going to show you there is no, um, there is no oil in bolt, no lines leaking out, like, you know, there is no power power steering pump on this car so everything is electronic so I'm gonna show you exactly what you gotta do to remove that so first thing you're gonna do and I'll show you the best I can uh, so first thing you're gonna do you're gonna well first you're gonna unplug your battery the negative cable right then you're gonna go inside the car and you're gonna take a 10 millimeter bolt that is over here you're gonna take it all the way out completely that way you can just slide this real easy so that's going to be in here but before you get to that ball there's going to be there's going to be a plastic cover it's hold by gra one one little grammar here so all you gotta gotta do is pull it straight out and then slide it out it has a notch there's a notch right here so it goes like that once you pop it out then you slide it out through the notch right here then that bolt is gonna be the 10 millimeter, which is right there. Take that out completely. Then this thing, this thing stretch, this thing stretch in and out. So you just take them off, slide it up. All right, so now we're gonna go to the front. You're gonna go under and you're not gonna unbolt this. You're not. You're not gonna unplug this yet. You leave this for last. So you're gonna remove two 19s from the top, but you're not gonna remove that until you remove the the outer tie rods. That's gonna be held by 17. Then you're gonna take your uh, see the sway bar link. You're gonna unbolt your sway bar link from your suspension, the top one. It's much easier. So you can hold it. This one was a 15, so I hold it with a 15 behind, and then I use the 17, 17 on the front. After you do that, you're gonna have another 17 over here. Uh, 17 I just take it out completely I know it has a notch there you can just leave it on and slide it out but I didn't want that thing to be on my way so just take it out completely then you're gonna have another 19 over here uh, not 19 sorry 17 another 17 here on the bottom so 17 17 both side then you're gonna go under the engine
you're gonna remove two more 17s right here two 17s holding holding this bracket to the engine so you remove those two uh, once you remove those two then you're gonna come remember you also gonna re you're gonna have that removal ready right so that one and the one up there take these two out or better if you take these two first that way you can get your gun straight to it so take those two out first then take this one the one back here so there's gonna be one on each side on the bottom and then one on each on each side on the side up there once you have all that you're gonna lose this one up now you gotta pay attention here as you lose this two in the front this steel 17 the whole frame is gonna drop down so don't take these out all the way you're just gonna lose them up as you need it so as you can see I just lose them out about half inch same thing on that one half inch and then the whole frame is gonna drop down then there you can get to the 19s that's gonna be the 219 that's gonna be on the top 219s that's gonna be right in this hole right here holding the rack one on each side now the rack is not gonna come out you're not gonna slide the rack this way you're gonna flip it so you're gonna push it up and then you're gonna push it toward the engine and you're gonna flip it down and the rack is gonna drop right here it's just gonna drop straight down so don't be fighting with it sliding it out through the side because that thing has a big motor it's not gonna happen and if it happens, you're gonna have a hard time <coughs> excuse me so just drop it down right here bam and there is a connection there is a connection that you gotta you gotta unhook so this connection you press on this top first and then at the same time you push this white out the white clip and as you push out it's gonna re it's gonna push it out of the connector and then you got two more connectors here you just press a little tab and slide it out so now this is ready to receive the new well, continue. all right so after you slide your rag and pinion in you put your two bolts the 19 millimeter now I just want to show you uh, what happened when you tie this bolt so the connection the connection you're gonna leave that for last and when you're removing it before you drop this make sure you unplug that connect the three connection on the actual the actual motor right here was an extension that goes all the way here but make sure you unplug that first before you before you drop it and then you're gonna plug it in after you bolt this up so I just want to show you how how this thing goes up as I tie this corner bolt right here the 17 watch the whole rack how it's gonna go up without using any jack or anything and same thing to drop it down as you loosen the front it's gonna drop down so here we go I'm gonna get it tight and it's gonna go up see that I'll go on the other side see how it went up now you tie the back put everything back connect everything and you're done there you have it it's not showing the message of the steering wheel anymore